Good morning, my friends. So for today, I thought it would be kind of fun if we read a little book together. Um, and I can actually post this book as a separate link. So if you want to read it on your own, you can just open it up and read it by yourself. But I thought it'd be kind of fun. So it's kind of like we're in school and we're reading a book together. Um, I don't really have this book in real life. So I thought it'd be cool if we can just show it on the computer and you can see it and see all the words and the colorful pictures. So this one's called Insect Life Cycle. So we've been learning a little bit about insects. Hopefully you guys watched the video from yesterday. If you didn't, it's still there. You can go back, go to where it says reading video lesson um, under Tuesday and you can open it up and you can watch that video. I didn't make that one, but it's still a really good one. Um, and you guys can leave a comment on there about something really interesting that you learned. When you're done watching this, I want you to post on there that you're done and I want you to type out one interesting thing you learned about insects from this book and then go do your next comprehension check, okay? So let's get started. It's called Insect Life Cycle. Notice the different insects. Here's our table of contents. We remember that the table of contents match the headings and tell us what page number we're gonna find that particular section. So we know we're gonna read about what are insects, the egg, larva, the pupa, adult, nymph, and the index. All right, introduction. So here are three types of bugs that we can see. There's a flower beetle, tropical ant, and ladybug. I'm sure you're probably familiar with a couple of those that we would have right here in Florida. Introduction. When you were born, your body was shaped a lot like it is now. It was smaller, of course, but you had a head, legs, arms, and a torso. When you grew up, your body shape was will be about the same but some baby animals look nothing like the adults they will become. And notice this word torso here would be like, um, like the middle section of your body, like your stomach, your chest, that's your torso section. So um, insects also have a torso, which we'll look at. All right, next page. These animals have a different kind of life cycle. A life cycle is the series of changes an animal goes through during its life. Insects have fascinating life cycles. Some insects have a four stage life cycle. The insect lives as an egg, larva, pupa, and an adult. Others have a three stage life cycle. The insect is born as an egg, hatches as a nymph, and changes into an adult. So what this is telling us is that there are two different life cycles that you might see in different insects. So we have four stages or three stages, okay? And this says walking stick. Yes, this is a real insect. Yes, it looks like a stick. Yes, it looks like it shouldn't be alive. That's why it's called a walking stick. They're really cool. Their body is literally meant to be its own type of camouflage just by the way it's shaped. What are insects? There are more than 800,000 different kinds of insects. They include butterflies and beetles, fleas and flies, crickets and chiggers. Although they come in almost every shape, most insects have a few things in common. This is what a flea looks like. This is a very zoomed in version because fleas are like super, super, super tiny. They're very hard to see just with your eyes. Okay, here we have a blue wasp and another type of beetle. All insects have six legs. Their bodies are divided into three parts. Most insects have wings and can fly. Most insects also wear their skeletons outside their bodies as hard shells. And all insects begin as eggs. So these are some things that every insect has in common. If it doesn't have all of these things, it's not considered an insect, um, like a spider. A spider is not an insect because it doesn't have six legs. It actually has eight. So it's a different type of creature. Here we have egg. You can find insect eggs everywhere if you know where to look. Most insects lay their eggs near the food they like to eat. Moths and butterflies lay eggs underneath leaves. Dung beetles lay eggs in balls of animal poop. Yes, I said poop. Many flies lay eggs on meat. 
Some insects even lay eggs on other animals. So this says moth eggs on a leaf. Okay, so think about where they're laying their egg is close to somewhere they want to eat. Why do you think that is? Really, that's because most of the time, once they hatch, they need to be able to eat right away. Many insects have special cases to protect their eggs. One insect puts foam around its eggs. You may have seen this cuckoo spit in tall grass. Many insects lay eggs in pools, ponds, or streams. Others lay their eggs underground. Rarely, a female insect keeps the eggs inside her body. The eggs hatch and the young are born alive. So this says a female fruit fly laying eggs. So we're gonna leave it here on this leaf, I think. Larva. Most eggs hatch into a worm-like stage called a larva. Caterpillars, grubs, and maggots are larvae. Larvae, like that. It tells you here how to say it, larvae. They have long bodies and many legs. Almost all larvae are eating machines. A larva can eat more than its own body weight in a day. Newly hatched larvae on a leaf. See, they crawl out of the, the egg and then they can go around and start eating. Many larvae can destroy crops. Some larvae suck sap from crop roots. Others devour the leaves. Others eat fruits or vegetables. Beetle larvae can weaken and kill trees. Some moth larvae eat wool clothing on the other hand, the silkworm, a moth larva, makes silk thread. And we actually use silk to make fabrics. Larva of a black swallowtail butterfly. Pupa. Once the larva has grown, it must totally change its shape and it must protect itself while it does so. Many larvae spin cocoons out of silk or grow hard shells. The pupa does not eat and does not move much but inside the insect is very busy changing shape. This change is called metamorphosis. And tells you how to pronounce it, metamorphosis, metamorphosis. Pupa of a black swallowtail butterfly. So see now they're making the cocoon around themselves. So it says once they're there, they don't eat or do anything, but they're busy changing on the inside. Adult. After the metamorphosis is complete, the pupa hatches as an adult. The adult insect has wings, six legs, and three body parts. Many larvae that lived in water will hatch into adults that live on land. Larvae that lived underground will hatch above the soil. Adult insects will find mates and the females will lay eggs. Sometimes this is all the adults do. Mayfly adults live for only one day. Most other insects have longer adult lives. They eat, fly, hunt, and work. Here's a comet moth. That's pretty cool looking. See how its wings are super long, like the tail of a comet that flies through outer space? Nymph. In the three-stage life cycle, eggs do not hatch as larvae. They hatch as nymphs, which look like small adults. Some nymphs do not have full wings. Others, such as the dragonfly nymph, may live underwater. There's a stink bug nymph. Nymphs do not turn into pupae or pupae. Instead, they shed their skin as they grow. Each time they shed their skin, they look more like an adult. Slowly the nymph transforms into an adult. There's the adult dragonfly. So they sh it says shed skin from a dragonfly nymph. They leave the skin behind. Kind of like a snake. You've probably seen how like a snake does that too. That's a, a similar way that they shed, and as they shed, they continue to grow. And that's it. So here's our index. Remember, the index tells us what page to find specific words. Remember, I want you to leave a comment that you listened to this and write one thing that you learned about the insect life cycle. Okay? Great job, you guys.